today I will show you how to do a live translation using Google Translate where it can actually do a live conversation in a country where you don't speak the language and it's completely foreign to you like Japanese or Korean or I don't know let's say Spanish Spanish is a bit easier to to learn to know about it but you can use Google Translate to do a live conversation so you speak and the other person will speak also and you will get the text here on the screen on what it means and you can also show to them the text from your language so first of all to do the live translation here you have on the bottom of the screen in Google Translate this is Android 14 Sony Xperia but this Google Translate app is the same for all the phones as far as I know on the bottom as soon as you open Google Translate you have the camera option where you can actually translate text using the camera which is another amazing option you here on the bottom of the screen on the on the lower side of the screen you have conversation okay so now it's listening and i have it set to english and romanian and as you see now it's listening in english and it's actually typing what i'm saying here so let's see if it's really getting anything correctly yeah i mean seems okay and on some languages it will do automatic switching but between english and romanian there is no i could i could stop it if you don't want to to record also there is a privacy thing here this uh, transcript might be sent to google to be able to do the translation so if you're a tourist somewhere looking for directions it's nothing really not a big deal but it's good to know this and i believe you need an internet connection for this and usually when you travel somewhere you can get a really decent data package for a mobile phone so let's try in romanian bună ziua cum este vremea astăzi e însorit sau plouă E însorit sau plouă? Sau plouă? Gets a bit confused. Yeah, because now I speak in English, it gets confused. Bună ziua, cum este vremea astăzi? E însorit sau plouă? Este soare sau plouă? Hello, how is the weather today? Is it sunny or raining? Is it sunny or raining? Oh, got it. I said it two times. Okay. With uh, some languages, you have automatic language switching. So this is even better, much better. You can press one on one. Ah, so here on the on the languages where you don't have automatic language switching you have to switch manually. Hello, how is the weather today? Bună ziua. Cum e vremea azi? Nu este foarte cald, cam plouă. Nu este foarte cald. Plow. It is not very hot. It is raining. It is not very hot. It is raining. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's taking a bit of time to recognize this. So you have to switch manually from English into the other language. It will switch like this. I am sure I'm confusing it now. Okay. So if I switch from Romanian to Spanish. So English to Spanish is a really popular combination of language, translation, and you have automatic switching. You can do it manually by pressing on this star in the middle. So you can manually set. You will see both the original and the translation on the screen and you can both verify that what you're showing them is not something weird. Also be careful, it might show some weird words at some point, so tell the other person that 
first begin say that it might be wrong so they don't get uh, confused and if you do it like this for example for Romanian I couldn't do it because this language pair is not supported for for the automatic switching Hola como estas? Oh, my, my Spanish is so bad, he didn't even understand that I was saying it. Yeah, it gets confused. Now I'm speaking in English and it should understand that it is English. So, for this kind of cases, for this kind of cases, it's good to set the language separate so you can speak and ask a question and then you hear the other person and translate it. Para este tipo de casos es bueno configurar el idioma por separado para que puedas hablar y hacer una pregunta y luego escuchar a la otra persona y traducirla. I agree completely. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? I know a few words, not mine. Hello, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? I got it now. Now it's got it. So if I speak in English, oh, now it's all also switching, switching automatically to English. So I can speak to someone now and they will see the translation on screen. I really hope this is correct and I don't want to offend anyone or anything. So please, if there is any bad words here, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully not. Uh, let's do a, a thing now. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends so they know how to get around when they're visiting foreign countries where they don't speak the language very well and you can use and they can use Google Translate to speak to someone who they need to get directions about where to go to or different information. Suscríbete a mi canal y no olvides compartir este video con tus amigos. Para que sepan cómo moverse cuando visitan países extranjeros donde no hablan muy bien el idioma y usted puede usar y ellos pueden usar Google Translate para hablar. A alguien para quien necesitan obtener direcciones. ¿Dónde ir o información diferente? Ok. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you at some point. Let me know if you have any questions about these translations. They can really help in some cases. These apps, they're not perfect, but they can really help you to get the information you need or tell someone something that they don't speak the language you speak. You don't speak the same language. Thanks for watching.